Well, that's, a, that's a very good question. I actually have a whole chapter about that. I mean, a lot, large portions of my book are about this commercialization of jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. And it's 75, you see the complete separation from traditional judo. That, that's the, 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 the establishment of Brazilian jiu-jitsu was a ground-oriented art. It's crystal clear in the rule set. I right. don't see yeah, how anyone would think that's controversial. But as far as it becoming a business, most of these guys in those days didn't even pay. Like they didn't want, it was more about, we want Spartans. We yeah, want Jesse. <laughs> we, you know, there's no money to be made anyway. So you might as well kick out the people who don't belong and just make it a, a selective, a very selective process. What these guys were talking about, we'd start with, you know, you have a room, maybe out of 200, maybe five would stay. Right. You know, most yeah. people couldn't, because they're getting hit in the face, you know, every Friday or Saturday, just to remind them like what a fight would be like. Right. So it wasn't for everyone. The commercialization of jiu-jitsu or the democratization of jiu-jitsu, really, it begins after Hoist. Once it comes to the United States, after 93 in the UFC, and it becomes, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of these Brazilians that came over, I call it the Americanization of Brazilian jiu-jitsu by Brazilians. That's the name of the chapter. Oh, right? uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's very American. cool. I believe they really Americanized it because when they, they got here, see, the American public was used to martial arts being commercialized. They were used to karate. They were used right. to type. So to them, making martial arts a commercial versus a Spartan practice was the norm. It was not unusual. When the first wave of Brazilians came here, they brought that Spartan ethos with them, mm -hmm. right? Right away, they realized that was a terrible idea because the American <laughs> parents, I was, I lit that. We had yeah. the gauntlet, a little belt test with the kids and we're, I'm whacking the kids on the, that's what we can <laughs> do. And if right. you're going to go home, if yeah. you're, gonna, you're not for jujitsu. That's it, it, simple. That's how they looked at it. That's looked at it. If you're not, if you're not a warrior, if you can't have a belt, whack it back and it's going to be a bruise on your back tomorrow, well, boo hoo, go home, cry. Right. Oh, but he said, and, <laughs> right? That's, you know, and that we did that. We did that. We were whacking these kids on the back, you know, reasonably hard. Oh, my and gym was uh, for the New Balance and on birthdays. On the birthdays, you guys back as well. <laughs> Dude, that's a birthday gift, you know? You know <laughs> and and it, it's a rites of passage, right? It's, it, it exists in every, many, many warrior cultures to validate that culture. Right. You have to prove yourself, right? A warrior to belong to this tribe, right? right. You have to earn their place here, right? Well. The look on the parent's face told me everything. <laughs> no, don't ever do that again. I did it. They had a business. I had a lease on my name or half a million dollars. I got to pay that lease. Yeah. You know, like, so you have all these other concerns. So we Americanized. So when I write about, you know, Brazilians, they're like, I include myself, you know, though I do it with the guilty conscience because I think we watered down the products. And once you do that, we lose credibility. And I think we're in that process of becoming what we used to criticize. We're becoming Taekwondo, becoming. The, the, the karate. The only thing we're not, I mean, I don't think we're going to be, we're ever going to get to the point. Thanks to IBJJF for creating systems in time, right? We're not going to get to the point where we're going to hand over, you know, black belts to 12 year old kids. Right. But we right, were right. in that direction up to a few years ago. You guys may remember, um, you know, there were people that are starting to do stuff like junior black belt. Like, and uh -huh. that community went like, whoa, 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 we can't do this. And IBJJF came in and created systems. So like, no, you have to be this age. Yes. Heck, not a year. So like, thank God they did that because it gave jiu-jitsu some order. Yes. But there's, there's, um, I think the commercialization process is inevitable given how popular it is. Right. But it's also, you know, if we know, have, if you have learned anything from the history of martial arts is that that's the, be that's the beginning of sort of like, you know, we, we lose, we, we start going down in terms of credibility when that happens too. I compared the, I compared Joe Rogan to Elvis Presley. Uh, you know? <laughs> the project.